Wow, okay, I'm starting off today's video looking like a mess. So welcome to today's video. Today's video is actually going to be another vlog. What a surprise, but I thought um, that it would be a good thing to vlog today. Okay, so you probably already know what this vlog is going to be about if you read the title, but today I, it is Tuesday, January 23rd, I believe. Um, right now it's like 9.30 in the morning. I'm not going to school today, obviously, but um, I am going to be getting my bronchial scope procedure done today and we have been waiting to like just get this procedure done for so long. I got bumped yesterday and on Friday so I'm really happy that it's finally happening. I've never had one before. Um, a lot of people with CF do get it. I know my cousin who has CF and diabetes has gotten it twice I think when she was a bit younger but you know, um, basically for those people who do, not, who do not know what the procedure is, um, so yeah, it's called a bronchioscope and basically they go down through your throat, I guess, and basically just get a good look about, like, with everything that's down in your lungs and, um, if they can, like, suck some mucus out and <laughs> it sounds so nasty and so gross, I know, but it's also just gives them a better idea. Obviously my, um, head CF doctors do it. But it gives them a better idea just to kind of know what kind of bacteria is down in my lungs. Because if you have been watching all my hospital vlogs that I uploaded about a month and a bit ago, I don't, it's just been like a roller coaster. Like I went in and then like three weeks later I came out of the hospital worse than I was when I got admitted. And over the month and a bit that I was at home, they put me on like three different antibiotics, some orally, some inhaled and just like I went back two weeks ago nothing was actually well it got worse believe it or not I was gonna say nothing has changed but yeah so it got worse my lung percentage went down even more and then they did some x-rays and I saw there was a lot of mucus especially on my left side and they compared it to x-rays back in like the like the summer and they just don't know what else to do so that's why this bronchial scope is hopefully supposed to be just really helpful and just solve all the problems and obviously the goal is to feel really good after right now I'm a little bit sick I just had a little bit of a cold um just with a stuffy nose and of course my cough is really bad because two weeks ago they told me to uh like get off of all my antibiotics so when they do do the bronchial scope they will like have a, just a better idea to kind of see what's down there because obviously the antibiotics would prevent a lot of the bacteria hopefully didn't seem like it really did that much but I have not been on antibiotics for two weeks, and I literally am in, on antibiotics 24-7. Most, most people with cystic fibrosis are, so I can't even imagine what my lung percentage is at right now. I don't even want to know, but um, yeah, so I've been coughing like crazy, and it's like the worst sounding cough ever, and the amount of mucus I'm getting up is way more than I usually do. So just really hoping, crossing my fingers, that this procedure so Yeah, that's works. just a bit of an explanation about what's going on today. Want to give you guys a little bit of information. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I look like a mess, and I probably have not washed my hair in like a week, because I'm always so scared of not washing my hair with my red color, because I just hate when it fades. So I'm thinking about going back to blonde soon. I'm just missing it, because I've always been a blonde. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna hop in the shower real quick, so I look a little bit better and just refresh. So I will see you guys soon. Fast forward like a good two hours. Did some makeup, mom braided my hair, just because that's one of the, my problems whenever I'm like laying on the table and then my hair is everywhere, they're like, oh, do you want a hairnet? I'm like, no thanks. So, got it out of the way. We're gonna try we're, Yeah, new. we're now here. Um, I just couldn't really vlog on the way here because the rain was like really loud on the highway, so there would be no way that you'd be able to hear me. But, oh, is this is a new underground parking? Yeah, I just don't know where we're gonna park. It doesn't look like there's much. When is there ever parking underground? Well, especially on a rainy day. Hello. Oh. Eek. Oh, wait so wait, now. what time Look is it now? It's 12:19. We're supposed to be at the surgical unit at 12:45, and then the procedure I don't think is until 1:45. But obviously they have to talk to you before and stuff. I've obviously 
done it a thousand times. And, like, each time they're always, like, they always have to ask Any you questions? stuff. Yeah, questions. And the, every time they're, like, oh, like, does she have any piercings? Like, can she take them out? And, like, they try to, like, convince me. I'm, like, well, every single time I go under to get my pick line, I never have to take any of my piercings out. So uh, there's nothing here. Not going to do that. This mm, is not. Oh, that's handicapped. This is not very much parking. Let me tell you that. Considering how many people we attend this place. Entering the building, this looks familiar. A lot of vlogs. We just did the valet parking just because it was a lot easier. Oh, hello. nifty. So we are now in our own private room, just waiting, I guess, because of the the MRSA that I literally have been cleared for it for almost two years now. But just to be safe, plus I honestly don't mind being in my own private room. I hate waiting in waiting rooms. And it's kind of just relaxing. You can talk about whatever. You don't have to be quiet. So. Burp. What? Burp. No, that wasn't my point. And yeah, but the lights are very... Br oh, that's cute. Look at the ceiling. Oh, it's really it's cool. Like clouds. Sky. My nose is so stuffed. Yeah, but I bet you if you go on something, it won't work. Because I copy and paste always a certain link, so it works. But I'll send it to you if you need it. So, Mom, you have to vlog when I come out of the anesthetic. Okay. I'll probably be asking for my phone right after, so, or I'll just do what I did last time. Go left, go right, go left. Yeah, so, we'll see. But, I mean, I'm not even that, like... Wait, is the same anesthetic that they use, to, like, for the stuff the same you do when you're wisdom teeth? Because yeah. after everyone's wisdom teeth, they're so, like, funny and, like, high on drugs, but, like, and they say things they don't mean, but then after I get out, like, you don't... Know. No, remember, that was, like, last time I was grumpy was when I was in, like, grade four. Come in. One really annoying thing about having, like, going in for any kind of proce procedure, because obviously you have to fast when you're going under, is with diabetes. Cause your sugars like if they go low it's kind of a problem like i remember what was that thing again that i was getting done and my sugars went low so they had to stop the whole thing oh, it was yeah. something to do with my like stomach that they were trying yeah, to figure it out was a bacteria. i don't know they're making me like drink a bunch of stuff to like it was a bunch of testing and it was like four hours long but then my sugars were like two in the middle of it so they had to just cancel the whole thing because obviously i needed something to drink or eat and you couldn't eat or drink but before I had to, I had to fast up until 6.45, so I set an alarm at like 6.30 just so I could wake up and have an insure milkshake, so I did that, and then that was the last time I could like eat anything, and then I could have clear fluids, so like water, apple juice, and tea up until about 10.30, and I just happened to have some apple juice at 10 o'clock, and then I checked my sugars, and they were 5.7, I was like, oh, Good thing I had the apple juice. They were going to go low. And then I didn't even take insulin for the apple juice, of course, because they were already kind of on the low side. And then I just checked them now, and they're 5.9. So <laughs> really hoping is it going to lower than that, because that could be a problem. So we just found out that one of my head CF doctors said that my mom could be in the room and videotape me while I fall asleep. Because <laughs> at first she was like, oh, yeah, you don't want your mom in there, don't you? I was like, no. And then I was like, oh wait, could she videotape? And they're like, yeah, sure. I was like, okay. So I don't know how much of a good view she'll get, but either way, I think it'd be kind of funny. Hey, mom? Yes, whatever you said. But it's so cold. It's cold, huh? Yeah. That'd have hit me a few times on the face. If and it, it, always makes if it makes you feel colder, relax your head. Can I see a page like that? I can give uh, your mom a minute to uh, yeah. take a picture of you and the IV. Here we go. Um, How do you feel? Consider. How do you feel relaxed? No, like your sun why, why, why would I feel relaxed? Like your sun bathing with these bright lights? Um, There's a little camera over there. The bed is going up. Oh, yeah. Here's the little camera. So I'm getting faces. So it's going to camera. Oops. On the big screen. Okay. Yeah, they're a lot taller. Okay. Let's make sure you can take a picture of her taking okay. some oxygen here. That looks good, man. Yeah? 
Yeah, last one just has to go down by your <laughs> armpit here. Yeah. Sweet dreams. Uh, yeah, I haven't given her anything, so. Oh. Uh, so do you want to hold the mask for me, please? Do you want to hold the mask and let me give her something? Yeah, and, um, this, this is the sleepy time medicine. What's she saying? Many times you I had the camera on, on but it was not on record. She loves this part. She, oh, she loves, this, loves part. this part. Mm -hmm. This is what, what I wish I could do every night. <laughs> oh, no. So she's not awake too late. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Okay, sweet, sweet dreams. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> she laughs. Well, that's good. When sleep laughing, that's fun. <laughs> she's a happy sleeper. <laughs> sweet dreams. Okay, Mom. Oh. Thank you. So she's now asleep, and it is, I don't know if you can see the clock, it's just after 2, 2.10. Um, they said the actual thing only takes about 10 to 15 minutes, but the recovery process is probably about an hour, an hour and a half. So I'm going to go and um, get a coffee because I haven't eaten or had anything to drink because she hasn't been allowed. And then um, we'll get her when she's coming out. Okay. So I've been awake for how long would you say? An hour and a half. That long? 70 minutes. We are just hanging out, waiting for my CF doctor to come and then we can leave. Got them to take the IV out finally because it was killing me. Had some juice, had some cheese and crackers. Sugars are at seven, so they're good. Coughing lots though. My throat kind of hurts a little bit just from the coughing though, I think, not from the actual procedure itself. So, yeah. Hey everybody, so it is now 9 p.m. I got home at probably around 7, 7.30 I'd say, but I've literally just been laying down, resting. I kind of fell asleep for like a good 20 minutes on the way home, but I'm just really, really tired. So I think I'm just going to close out today's video here. I know it wasn't too, too exciting, but um, I just thought I should vlog today. Also just, you know, spread more awareness. Why not? And I know a lot of people um, and some people I'm friends with um, are curious about like the whole procedure and everything so if I didn't already kind of explain it I don't think I did I honestly don't remember because I've been so tired the whole entire day basically um they found um a lot more mucus down there than they expected they were going to they also found a lot of mucus on the upper right side of my lung which is really unusual and uncommon because you think that the more you'd be like active and stuff the more the mucus would settle to the bottom so I thought that was kind of weird that there was still some like at the top of my lungs um basically they still want me to go in for two weeks but they're going to wait on the culture from the sputum sample that obviously they took when they were doing the procedure and that will hopefully be a no later than monday friday or something like that so i asked to see my cf doctor before we left and i basically explained i was like well why don't you guys do um pfts which are, as I've mentioned numerous times before, pulmonary function tests to so figure out your lung percentage. Because um, I said, I was like, how about if like a miracle happened and all of a sudden my lungs are way better, which I don't think that will be the case, but if it is, you know, I don't want to go in the hospital if my lungs are somewhat okay and just such a bad time to go into the hospital. Like, I feel like I still just got out and I know it's not only going to affect me physically, but also mentally. Um, so I think they're going to do my PFTs at the local hospital where I live and then figure out what that is get the culture result back but I still think they want me to go in for two weeks and I'm really hoping that they don't find MRSA down there because they were curious as to why the three weeks in the hospital and after I got discharged all the antibiotics basically did nothing except make it worse so <sighs> it might be MRSA down there which if you don't know what that is it's like a really 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 strong and harsh bacteria and I had it um when I got I found out I had it July 2016 I think and I was in the hospital for three weeks and not only because of that but also because of diabetes and it was like oh I hated that hospital stay it was so bad and also the antibiotic that they, that they have to put you on while you have MRSA is called vancomycin as I've talked about it many times before it's a killer antibiotic, a killer. So I said I'm not going in unless I have an IV. I mean, unless I have a pick line or a midline put in because vancomycin and IV do not go well. <laughs> not at all. So if I do have that, I'm going to be really upset. But crossing my fingers, I don't, of course, because that could be really, really 
bad and much worse than we were expecting because uh, I remember when I first got diagnosed with that and I found that I have it like my fam my family had to like clean themselves with this special soap because of course they only found it in my lungs but it can also be on your skin just basically that's not what we want to happen anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video even though it wasn't much it wasn't very exciting but I do have some like very exciting videos to be coming up so if you have not already please make sure to give this video a thumbs up I would appreciate it a lot and do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already and comment below anything you want i hope all my cfers who are watching this are doing well as well and i will see you guys in my next video